Faith does not mean that things will be easy. Faith means that it will be possible. Faith doesn't make things easy. Faith makes it possible. Faith makes it possible. Faith makes it possible. But God is with me. God is with me. There's certain things that you know if God is not with you, there's no way in the world I could do this. I would have given up a long time ago. I would have lost my mind a long time ago. I couldn't do this unless God is with me. God is with me. I, I couldn't face this unless I knew God was with me. God's got me. God's back, got me. I mean, some of you are in situations where your mother and your father are already gone to glory. But the Bible says, when my mother and father forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. See, God will not leave you comfortless. He's got somebody. I mean, he's a loving father. He's a compassionate father. He, he's, he's going to take care. He's so responsible. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is so faithful. And listen, this is the thing that I really love. God's love penetrates deep into our hearts so that we never, ever have to feel fully alone. His love penetrates us in such a way that you never, ever have to feel fully alone. You can be driving in the car and you say, Jesus, it's just me and you. You mean walking around the house, Jesus? Ain't nobody in any but me and you, Lord. Gee, anybody ever been in a situation where you had to talk to the Lord, uh, you know, like he is your best friend? I mean, cause, I mean and it's, it's, it's not because you're crazy. It, he is your friend. You know that he's there. You can feel his presence with you, and, and it's you having a hard time. And it's like Jesus. You know what we gonna do? What we gonna do with this? Lord, help me through. Help us, G Jesus. Did you just hear what they said to me, Jesus? He has to be a constant friend and companion to you, and you got to talk to him like he's right there with you, like you love him and you're in love with him. That because he is with you, he said, "I will never leave you. I am with you." I'm with you. I got your back. I, I, I'm, I'm standing in the midst of this. Talk to him. Talk to him. You feel like somebody has done you wrong? Unload on him. Unload on him. Unload on him. You know, he's already promised us, that, listen, that when you go through the waters, they're not going to overflow you. You walk through the fire, it's not going to burn you. He says, I'm with you. I got your back. I'm going to take you through this thing. You're coming out of this on the other side. And it's because he is with us. He's with us. He is with us. And God says, my grace is sufficient. My grace is sufficient. My grace is sufficient. My grace. My grace. How are we going to do this? My grace is sufficient. Where are we going to get the money? My grace is sufficient. Lord, you know the health of my body. You know what I'm dealing with. My grace is sufficient. Lord, you know the deadline that they gave me. My grace is sufficient. My grace. My grace. My grace. My grace. But some depression in your life can actually come from your inability to see your next season. And when you have blindness about where God is calling you, some of it, the isolation, because I don't know, God, what you're doing next. It is very common that when God is going to take you to another level and when he's trying to get breakthrough to come up in your life, God will isolate you. And if you can't see what God is doing, you can get messed up in your perspective because you cannot see your next step, your next move. And why, God, have you left me here? You have forsaken me here on this level, and God has got something. But see, what happens is that we become so fixated on where we've been and uh, that, that we fail to see where he's taken us. And so you have to realize that in the midst of everything that I'm dealing with, that God, you, you didn't make me to just stay here. You made me for more than this. this. This earth is not my home. I'm on my way somewhere. I'm on my way somewhere. I'm, I'm coming out of the place where I am. I'm, I'm moving into something that is far better than, than this. If you don't realize that you're not forsaken, it's, it's oftentimes that we just don't see our next step, God, where? Where are you taking me? What are you doing, God? And because he has us in the dark about it, we become disillusioned and, and we feel as though he's forgotten about me. He's forgotten about me. May I remind you of something? God has not forgotten about you. He says, I, I've, I've written your name on the back of my hands. I, I know you. I know you. I know you. I know all of my children. 
God knows all seven billion plus folks in the world. He knows us all. If, if he knows the sparrow, I mean, a, a little bird, a, a tiny bird, as many of them as there are. If he knows the number of hairs on your head. See, you have to remember God is omniscient. He knows you. He knows what you're dealing with. And God specializes in being able to take things that are a pain to us. And out of our pain, we find a place of ministry and a place of comfort, and a place of healing. And it's amazing that in your serving your gift to other folks, you get healed in the process. That's why when you minister to somebody, if you're lonely, you come out of your loneliness. If you encourage somebody else who's discouraged, you become encouraged. You see, you, you really do literally reap what you sow. And whatever it is that you need in your life, sow it into the life of another. Whatever you need, sow it into the life of another. Whatever you need, sow it into the life of another. And you'll be surprised how your life can be transformed when you really trust yourself to God and realize the Lord's with me. He's never going to leave me or forsake me. And so when you ask the question, when you feel God forsaken, is anybody there? God, do you hear me? Because I've been talking and nothing has changed. And you assume that nobody's there, that God is not listening to you. And he says, you know what, I got, how can I forget you? How can I forget you? He hears you. And God says, I'm with you. And I've got something prepared for you. And I have not seen, neither hath ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those that love him. When you love God, and if you don't get discouraged to the degree that you allow it to bring such a disappointment in you that it makes you unfaithful where you are, you'd be surprised what God will do. God will blow your mind. He will blow your mind. He is awesome. He'll exceed your expectation. You know why? Because he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, and even above all that you could ask or even think. God will throw some stuff in there that you didn't even think to ask. I'm just telling you, he's that kind of God. God says, I got your, your name on the back of my hands. I know you. I'll never, ever leave you nor forsake you. God says, I got your back.